The National League All-Star shortstop, Don Kessinger, batting 294 with three homers, 40 RBI. There's a line drive, hit in the center. Coming in the score, Walls. Jenkins stops at second. And after two out, nobody on, the Cubs have had four hits in a row, and they tied the game at 2-2. Two to two. Don Kessinger actually is, you know, the Archie Manning of Ole Miss baseball. Well, when you grow up in Arkansas, you automatically grow up to be a Razorback fan. Arkansas and Ole Miss basketball was pretty much the same. But baseball, they were miles apart at that time. When I visited Ole Miss, uh, it was just a great place. Everybody was friendly. It just seemed at home to me. And Ole Miss at that time under Coach Tom Swayze had, I thought, the best baseball program in the South. Kessinger made the trek from Forest City, Arkansas to Oxford in 1960, joining the Rebels as a two-sport athlete. Along the way, he would earn All-American honors in both basketball and baseball. I had a couple of nights that personally were awfully good nights for me. I, I think I had 49 points one night against Tulane and 48 at Tennessee, which means I shot a lot, that's what it really means. I just went out and played basketball until basketball was over and then I went to baseball. I just thought that's the way it was supposed to be. Kessinger was phenomenal for the Rebels, scoring in double digits in 33 consecutive basketball games. He was all SEC in both baseball and basketball each of his three varsity seasons and led the SEC in batting with a 429 average his senior year. My senior year, we had a, a really, really good baseball team and, you know, won our conference. And we went to Gastonia, North Carolina and uh, beat North Carolina in the finals of regional. And that trip, it was just memorable, reaching your goal of getting to Omaha. It was the year before the baseball draft started. We had five or six teams that were in one day and made a pitch to us. And with my dad and Coach Swayze, we just talked it over and thought the Cubs gave me the best opportunity uh, to get to the big leagues quicker if I did my part. And so that's the way we went. I went straight to uh, Fort Worth, Texas to play in Texas League. And, uh, boy, that was a big jump, you know, but, but I did good, and one year later I was in the big league, so it was, uh, it was a real experience. You know, every year you're either trying to take somebody's position or they're trying to take yours. When I first went up, I, was, uh, I made a lot of errors. I was, I was uh, you know, I tried to make some great plays, probably shouldn't have tried to throw it, and I did, and made it, but, I'm, but I made a lot of errors the first year, didn't hit real good, so I was really trying to get good enough to settle in and stay there forever. And I worked a lot. I'd go out early before uh, the team would come out for batting practice or whatever and had a coach go out and just hit ball after ball after ball to me and throw ball after ball to first base. And I, I finally felt like I could throw it to first base with my eyes closed. Ground ball. And it is flagged down by Kessinger, and he's going to throw to the plate, and he has got to What a play! What a play by Kessinger! Beautiful! Kessinger set a major league record a few weeks ago by playing in 54 consecutive errorless games at shortstop, breaking Chico Carascal's record that set back in 1951. Known for his outstanding defensive play, Kessinger quickly became a fan favorite in Chicago. He was named a National League All-Star six times and won two Gold Glove Awards while playing for the Cubs. Though he was a star to many, to sons Keith and Kevin, he was simply dad. When you're growing up that way, it's the only way I knew. And so uh, I, I don't know that we felt different, special. I mean, our, our dad played baseball and we would get to go watch him. It was great because we got to do cool things, but it didn't feel, I don't guess, all that different than anybody else because we didn't know any different. I didn't think much about it because it's just what your dad did. It's the way you grew up. Obviously, it was a neat experience, but really it dawned on me more as I was older. That's when it kind of occurred to me where we grew up. And uh, it's just an experience that, you know, so few get to have, and we're just very fortunate. When I was traded from the Cubs to the Cardinals, we moved to Memphis. Now located an hour outside of Oxford, 
the Kessinger boys would be well exposed to Old Miss athletics. And before long, Don's alma mater would come calling. When Ole Miss offered Keith, the way I remember it, the opportunity to come, basically his answer was, if you're offering, I'm taking it. 25 years ago, this young shortstop led the Ole Miss Rebels to the College World Series before going on to be an all-star for the Cubs. His contributions to Ole Miss still continue, now in the form of his children like son Keith, who now, 25 years later, provides that same blue in the Rebels infield. Where he went, we wanted that to be his choice and uh, live his life. When Ole Miss gave me that opportunity, it was it was an easy answer. It's where I wanted to play, and uh, the fact Mom and Dad could see me play all the time was, was fantastic. What's special about it really is because you've lived his dream with him to get to do that. And when you see him run out there, your thrill is for him. Like Don, Keith was a two-sport athlete for the Rebels and would soon be joined on the diamond by younger brother Kevin. Keith was a senior and I was a freshman. So I got to play one year with my brother here. He played short, I played right that year. Um, I let off a lot, he hit thirds. So that was just something that people can't take away from you. For their mother and me, nothing could really top that. Keith was an, you know, an established shortstop and all SEC type player and then Kevin came along and was able to make the starting lineup after a game or two and uh, it, it was to us just an unbelievable experience and what topped that off was knowing how badly they wanted to do that. When Jake Gibbs retired here, uh, I was given the opportunity to come here and coach, which is something that was really kind of a dream for me. But that was amplified by the fact that I was going to have the opportunity to coach Kevin for a couple of years. He did a great job of separating father, son, coach, player. So when we were on the field, it was coach and player. Um, off the field, you know, we didn't talk much about it. If we were going to have dinner, if I had to go get my clothes washed at their house, we didn't talk about it. But on the field, you know, we, kind of, we just tried to keep them separate. He did a good job. I did my best. I've been to Swayze every year since I was four years old probably. Um, haven't missed a big series at home, just like I hadn't missed a big home football game in five, six years. Getting to experience it as a fan, now getting to experience it as a player. Um, it's gonna be really interesting when I'm out there and then 10,000 fans are cheering for me like I was for them. When he played in the Under Armour All-American game in Wrigley Field, uh, I told him before he left, I said, if you're going up and playing my dirt, I'm gonna be there to watch you play in the same position I did, in the same ballpark I did, and more the same number I did that day. When he ran out to shortstop and that game started and all the years we grew there, I get choked up thinking about it now. You know, as much as I want to, you know, write my own chapter and do my own thing, it's really cool though when you see like a fan or somebody and they say, yeah, I watched your dad here, I watched your grandfather here, and knowing that, you know, they also now get to watch you. It's just something that, you know, not everybody gets to experience. Until I guess we saw him out on the field the other day at the scrimmage and you're like, wow, you know, that's, that's where, you know, the same uniform that my dad, my brother, now me, now my son wears, that's something that very few people can experience. We are so blessed that, you know, he will be the fourth Kessinger to put on that old Miss uniform and, and run out there. And it's just, it's been a thrill with each one of them and it's gonna be a thrill again.